Today I'm going to show you how to make a beat in uh, Ableton Live. Just a simple drum beat, nothing too fancy. But uh, nonetheless, people want to see a simple beat. So let's see. Let's start with a new live set so you can see exactly what it's supposed to look like. This is usually what you'll get, something along these lines. Uh, the first thing we need is a MIDI track. So let's insert a MIDI track, right click there. Let's delete this audio track. Delete there. Now you want to go either, well, the easiest way is to set up a drum uh, track using the built-in drums. Uh, there's more to it than that. You can make your own drum tracks, your, or rather drum racks, and use your own samples, but let's use one of the built-in drums. Um, so here's an 808. Everyone loves an 808. Yeah, love that sound. All right, so let's drop it on the MIDI. And now we have our 808. Okay. So now that we have an 808, what we need is a kick drum, I mean a um, clip. So here's the clip. Double click there to create it. Um, and down here you'll see all the drums that we have. So like down here we have a 808 kick, rim, snare, clap, clavy, yada yada. Those are all the drums we have available. And then you'll see we have a... Uh, basically a step editor here and right now I have it's 16 beats per bar and I only have a one bar uh, beat so let's uh, set the tempo I don't know let's do something like hip-hop so we're talking around you know 90 beats per minute something like that and hit play on here now it's starting to play uh, we have nothing in here, so it's not triggering, any, triggering anything. So let's get a kick going. Put a kick on the first beat. Hear that kick. Like that. Okay, so everywhere I place kicks, it's going to play these kicks. And I can play 16. I can change it to 32 if I want to do faster. I can do it off, turn the fixed grid off and set any number amount of beats that I want. But they get smaller and smaller and they get less precise as far as timing goes so let's go with 16 for now and we'll start uh, put a kick let's see want to hear a metronome there's our metronome click it to turn it off if you want we don't really need it on right now because I'm not putting these in by playing along I'm just doing it like an Excel spreadsheet and filling in the blanks. So, let's turn that off, but let's give ourselves a more interesting uh, metronome by actually putting closed hi-hats on every other beat. Like that. Okay, now you'll notice down here these little things. These are velocities. So, I can select a hit, like here, and I can lower the velocity like that and it makes it louder or quieter so how about we accent the downbeat so I will select holding shift select all the off beats like so now I don't actually want this here I think I want the open hi-hat at the end very simple Notice it chokes it by the first one, cuts it off. Now let's. There's a rim. I don't want a rim. Let's give it that good old 808 snare. So now we got a simple little beat going. Not too complicated. But what about, uh, you know, let's make it a little longer, a little different. So we can add another bar, change this to 2 for the length. Control A or Command A, if, you know Mac Command A, Command. Let's see, Command Duplicate, and now we've copied what we did before. So now we can alter the second uh, bar and change what uh change some stuff up now let's put a kick there 
So there we have a very simple 808 loop. Okay. Now there's something cool you can do is you can mess with the groove. Clicking the groove pool over here, it gives us all the built-in grooves. You can make your own grooves, you can extract grooves from samples and stuff, but we'll leave the groove here. Let's try a swing, a little bit of swing. A little bit, yeah, just a little bit of swing, a little bit of relaxed beat, so let's try that. A little bit of a swing. A lot of people like the MPC. Let's see. 16 swing. Let's try 16. You can kind of feel the field, you know, changing. You can turn it off. It's straight. Like that. I like the MPC swing. A little more, uh, whatever. Little little sauce there. All right, now, what if you wanted to add something like some delay, or you wanted to distort it? Well, you go to your audio effects. You go for an effect like let's put the ping pong delay on there just for hell of it. Pops it over here. But you could also do stuff like overdrive. Where's the overdrive? There it is. Make it a harder sound. Give you some of that nine inch nail sound. Uh, what else can we do with it? We can add things like a flanger. Lots of little fun stuff you can do. But that is your basic uh, drum beat. As simple as that. Um, inside here, there's all sorts of other things you can do. Uh, you can add drums. You can, you know, we can go crazy. Let's see. Let's more cowbell. Right? Add a little. Very simple. I need a little high tap, high toms. Let's see where's the mid tom. Yeah, it's not amazing, not an amazing drum beat, but this is you know the beginnings of something, and you can add things after this like bass lines and whatnot. Um, but there you have it. All right, thanks for watching.